Hello, kiddies. Want to quit make some noise? What have we got to do? Huh? What? Turn it up, dude. So, what have we got going on today? Well, what we've got is um, an Artoria um, ARP uh, emulation called Lynx, for those of you who are inclined. Um, we've got a few different things going on. We've actually got two versions of it. One pan left, one pan left. Uh, one pan left and right. Right. Um, and we've got a little different things going on here to create a little flavor with the old um, Magic Halo character. So we've got one set to British Mike Brewery and one set to the clone. So it creates a little variation. We'll do the same with the pixelator. Got sample a hole on one, linear two on the other. And what that's doing is just creating little changes. So we've got some even saturation, some odd satur saturation, and that's just creating a bit of flavor. Most of the flavor is actually coming from, if I can find it, the Fab Filler uh, Volcano. So let's see, let's just bypass a few things. Let's see what that sounds like. No different. Okay. So if we take these off. Now it's difficult to hear, but what has happened is the sound feels more mono. If I start to put these back on. Do you feel how you're starting to get that sort of texture that sounds a little wider, a little more interesting to your, uh, to your ear? We've got some MV2. It's not doing a lot. It's just sort of bringing up his bum. Just dipped his bum. I've uh, got a little bit of this flavor going up. I'm pulling a little bit out of the middle. And then we've got the, the, um, the L3. Making it a bit louder giving it a little bit of flavor, making it feel a bit wider. This is great for tone. When you use it, just make sure you turn off the diver. Otherwise, you're going to be adding pink noise or whatever they use for the diver. You're going to add noise on your track. So most of the work is being done up here. So let's go take a look at what's going on in there. So we've got a little bit of auto, which is very hard to see like this, so let's just expand it. So we're automating um, the frequency and the peak on this guy. So let's have a listen to what that's doing.
tasty. Okay. So we've got a little bit of that going on. Um, and then to make things a touch more attractive, we're going to use some auto pan. And this is just Cubase stock. And... It's a very simple pattern. It's not doing anything too interesting. So let's see what that does to it. So now we're just getting some movement. And if we keep it at that volume, let's start bringing in some of the other elements, some of the other instrumentation. So, a little bit of Neo Soul. We've also got a bit of this. Stranger Things. Bit of bass line. some drums. We're also doing a little bit of the vocals. The low fine vocals. But of course that's not where this instrument sits. We've actually got a sat right down here. Let's just take those vocals off. Can you hear it? This is what we've got going on. Using it up there, we're using it down here. And it's just giving a little bit of depth and a little bit of movement to the track. Minus 35 dB. Sometimes noise doesn't have to be noisy. That's it. Good night, good noise.